Hey, grade nine, we're almost there for finishing Romeo and Juliet. We got through the wedding scene and um, we also had uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, spend one last night uh, before Romeo goes into exile in Mantua. And we also counted how many times the word banished and banishment and night were uh, mentioned in this play quite a few times. Of, of course, uh, um, Juliet is day and uh, Romeo is night. And uh, so we talked about the, a little bit of mythology there too, day chasing night and night chasing day. And uh, the, we talked about how banishment uh, is perceived two different ways. Um, one, it's life. Yes, you're exiled, but you're, you are alive. And Romeo's uh, take is that banishment is worse than death. So um, it's all about perception. We've been talking about perception versus reality a lot, this uh, quint. So let's get into our sharing here. And I'm not going to go through all of this in great detail because we did spend a lot of it in class. So Act 3, Scene 2, the, Juliet, as far as she's concerned, um, she's just a, a, a new bride. Uh, she doesn't have a clue what's been going on in, in regards to Tybalt and Romeo and Mercutio. Uh, but when she finds out that uh, Romeo killed her cousin Tybalt and Romeo's exiled and Mercutio died as well, um, it's that cloud nine, or she's basically taken off uh, cloud nine there. And uh, the nurse tries to, um, well, she doesn't try. She actually, she does not speak very highly of Ro uh, Romeo. Um, and uh, Juliet scolds her for that because, you know, watch what you're saying because Romeo is my husband now. Okay, so um, we have uh, a reminder that uh, to the nurse that Tibble did try to kill uh, her husband and only death will separate her now. So we have that foreshadowing. Um, we have uh, Act 3, Scene 3, uh, Romeo's uh, hiding at Friar Lawrence's cell. Uh, and of course, this is where all the banishment and banishing comes in. And uh, of course, Friar saying exile means life, but Romeo uh, views it as death. So a bit of foreshadowing there. Um, he tries to take his own life um, in the scene, but the nurse tells him not to, because if you do, uh, you're, you're also hurting your, your uh, newly, uh, your new bride. And uh, so you, together, both, uh, you're going to get through this. So she, he um, changes his mind. So uh, he's going to spend time with his wife before being exiled. Um, scene four, uh, Capulet's reflecting on the loss of Tybalt. Um, he, he doesn't want to be mourning anymore. Albeit he doesn't want to, uh, um, you know, lessen the, uh, the, the fact that a, a family member has been killed. But at the same time, he wants this business arrangement to go through. So he pushes to have uh, Juliet married off to Paris on Thursday. So if, if the play started on Monday, I believe, it's two days, or Sunday and then Monday, then it's two days of mourning, and then you have your wedding on Thursday. And so Paris says, yes, I'm looking forward to that. So we'll see what happens on Thursday. And act three, scene five, uh, Romeo and Juliet wake up together. They formalize the marriage. Uh, Romeo leaves for Verona, and or leaves Verona, sorry, for Mantua. And uh, Juliet foresees that this, the next time uh, she, she will ever see her husband will be on her deathbed, uh, or at the bottom of the tomb is actually what she, she uh, said in the play. Um, Lady Capita comes in saying, hey, you're going to get married on Thursday. Julia says, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. And so then uh, Lady Capulet says, so well, just wait till your father comes. So Capulet comes in and says, uh, so have you told uh, our daughter that she's getting married? And Lady Capulet says, yes, I have, but she's not going to get married. And so Capulet just uh, 
takes it out on, on Juliette and you ungrateful person, uh, I give you a roof and all that kind of stuff. And, and I do all this kind of stuff for you and, and you're not going to fall through with this, uh, this, this marriage. Uh, and if that's the case, you're no longer my daughter. If, if you're on the streets, um, uh, and I see you, I'm not going to even recognize you. I've stripped you of, of the name Capulet. Um, so if you want to still be a Capulet, you will be at the church on Thursday to get married. So Juliet, uh, has, tells, uh, the nurse that, uh, she's going to fire Lawrence's cell to confess her sins and to ask for forgiveness for the way she's behaved in, uh, towards her father. When in reality, she's actually going to see if the friar can provide some drug or something that'll get her out of this predicament. And uh, so as far as everybody, uh, the nurse uh, who will tell Lady Caplet and Caplet that uh, Juliet's changed her mind, uh, Juliet has other plans, okay? So she says she'd rather die than marry any other man. And it's kind of ironic that she uses... Uh, uh, in her argument that I'd rather marry Romeo, my enemy, than marry Paris. Uh, but she's already married to Romeo, so it's it's kind of ironic. And uh, so, uh, of course, Lady Capulet and Capulet don't pick up on that, obviously. And the nurse probably does, but she doesn't let on at that point. Um, and that's where we left off. Okay, so... We'll finish the rest uh, or continue on Tuesday, I guess. And uh, be sure you, you keep up to date with your summaries. Tombstones, you should be working on that as well. And please look at the video on Google Classroom on some project ideas for your tombstone. All right. So happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Be safe out there. Take care. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye for now.